Hello, this is Anthony, also known as Android. I'm going to do a quick um, high-level overview of how to start modifying your dynasty for a conference realignment uh, for NCAA football on PS2 and PSP. So um, first off, just assumes for uh, PS2 users, um, you're using um, a PS2 emulator, PCSX2. Uh, so you have MyMC, which is a memory card manager. You have PS2 Save Builder, which may or may not be necessary anymore, and I'm using a Madden Extreme Database Editor, um, so Madden Extreme DB Editor. Uh, so these files are available to download, and once you have them, um, basically the first thing you want to do is actually go into the game and uh, using the whatever roster you want, create a brand new dynasty. Um, while you're making the dynasty, you also want to uh, if you want to add any um, Division One AA schools, um, this is the time you want to do and swap those in. Uh, once you actually create your dynasty and save it, you can exit out of the game. And then this is where we start. So in the PS2 version, you want to open up MyMC. Uh, MyMC again is a memory card manager, which if you got this far, you probably already know what it is. And you can then open up your memory card and find your dynasty file. So in my case, let's see, I have one here for NCA07. So I'm going to click on it, press the export button, export it as a PSU. I'll put it on my desktop to make it easy to find. And that's pretty much it. Then you'll want to open up Madden Extreme DB Editor. Uh, this new version you can actually open these PSU files without any um, problems, so you don't have to do the extra um, ex extraction point anymore, as far as I know. So let's open the file, and it will load the uh, save file. Oh, this is actually a... Uh, oops, I opened the wrong file. <laughs> this is actually a roster. Let's open up the dynasty... Okay, here's Dynasty. Okay, so you have a bowl. So the bowl table shows all the different bowl games. You can edit the names if you want in here. Um, it's got these four first columns, which are pretty important. Um, BCI is for each conference. So there's two of them, Conference 1, Conference 2, and then the Conference Rank. So at the end of the season, uh, 1 means they're in first place, 2 is second place, 3rd place, etc. So for Example, the Rose Bowl is typically a Big Ten versus Pac-10 uh, matchup, first place of each school, or each conference. So you look here, um, it's got Conference 1 and Conference 10, um, So and, and then Rank 1, Rank 1. If you look in the Conference table, you'll see that Conference 1 is the Big Ten, and Conference 10 is the Pac-12, and CGID is the Conference ID. Um, so. One, so this is another important table. The conference table has the names of the conferences, the conference ID number, uh, league number. Zero means they're in the FBS, and one means FCS. Um, in addition, there's conference prestige, so you can sort and see that um, you have your power five here, uh, and then or power six really. Uh, I named the Big East American in this particular save, and then you have your other group of five here with the independence. Then you want to look at division. Division also um, is available for the uh, conferences that have 12 or more teams. So you got the Big 12, Big 10, SEC, ACC, Pac-12. So I've already edited this. Um, typically uh, 1, 2, 1, 3 is the MAC and then 10, uh, sorry, um, th this would typically be Conference USA. So this is actually a slightly outdated file, so I'm going to go over some things that changed. Um, the other important table for realignment is team. Team is the list of all the teams. So you can see the team names here, which you can also edit if you want to. And if you scroll over, there's a team ID, which is TGID. Again, CGID, TGID is a conference and division. So you can sort through and see you know, make sure that all the conferences are aligned to with the right teams and also the divisions. So using this table, uh, team table, 
div table divi and conf conf um, you can see how all the numbers kind of line up to each other so when you're making a new uh, realignment you gotta make sure that all these numbers in all the tables correspond with the correct um, layout um, and then at some point you'll want to edit the bowl to make sure the bowl matchups are aligned with the new conference numbers that you choose so let's talk about that um, I created my own little spreadsheet which is in here actually I already have it open um, which has the original NCAA 2006 database with the current um, default 2006 alignment so ACC, Big Ten, Big 12, Big East, Conference USA, etc. Um, each one has their own division and then I aligned the numbers here so the conference IDs for the ACC 0, 1, 2, 3, etc. Uh, division ID default numbers are 6 and 7, 0, 1, 8, 9, 2, 3, etc. And then for conferences that don't have any divisions, um, which means they don't have a championship game, they are all 15 by default. And, and so that's important to remember. So with um, realignment, you can do it a couple ways. The easiest way actually now, now that we have a schedule generator, um, is to just align it how you want. <laughs> In my current alignment, I actually created another, um, I created Big East to have 12 teams. They don't have a championship game, unfortunately, because you can't create a new championship game as far as I know. So I just made them a 12 team division uh, or 12 team conference. Um, I created fake divisions, but they actually don't really do anything. And then I moved the uh, Big Ten with the Mac, gave the Big Ten the max conference ID, give them a championship game with a proper trophy, and I changed the uh, MAC. Um, oh, sorry, here's the Big Ten. So I moved the Big Ten to where the MAC is, and I moved the uh, MAC to where the Big Ten was, and then also moved the Pac-12 to where the Conference USA is, and, and again, Conference USA is now where Pac-12 is. So then I have to go in and edit my conference, which I um, kind of uh, have here in my second tab here. So I made the uh, conference ID of the Pac-12 now the Conference USA one. So it was Pac-12 used to be 10, now they're 4. Big East used to be 4, now they're 10. And Mac is now 1, and Big 10 is now 7. So I swapped the two. That way, um, every team gets a trophy at the end of the day for the conference uh, champions. Then in division, I basically renamed the uh, the MAC conferences or divisions to the Big Ten and vice versa, the Conference USA ones to the Pac-12 and kept the same numbering. So basically at the end of the day, you have this new alignment and then you have uh, teams that correspond to a specific conference and a, co a division. So you have to go back into your team folder uh well you first you gotta edit edit into the conference and the division with the correct numbering um, with uh, db editor you also can export and import so export creates a csv file which you can open up in excel or another spreadsheet editor and edit it there and then import it back in if you want or you can just edit directly in the tool whichever is easiest with the team um, you can't do that because the team has some data that will mess up your your save file if you try to export import so you actually have to manually edit it in here um, there is a cg id or what here's a way to append or addend with just one column but uh, so you can you can export the file delete all the columns except for the one you want leave it in the same order and just edit that one column and then go back and do this addendum and add just that one file which might come in handy later so what I typically do is I go in and uh, sort by conference. I make this actually quite bigger. So I can see the, the team names on one side and the conferences on the other side. And then I go in and just manually change all the numbers for all the teams according to this uh, designer table that I created. So all the Mac teams need to be 
115 uh, now instead of 715 and all the well let's look at here's the big 10 right here so they're all one so I just go in and start changing them all to seven and now they're correctly corresponded and then in division they should be um, all the east teams are two and all the west teams are three so you got to go in and start playing around with that. I actually already did that in this specific uh, example, but my conference files are not in the right one. So this one now needs to be seven. Mac needs to be one. Conference to state needs to be 10. And Pac-12 needs to be four. And then in division, I need to do the same thing. So seven, seven, four, four. And so on.